So we've got our drawers, uh, drawer boxes all sanded up, eased the edges on everything. They're ready to, ready to be installed. And I'm going to use epoxy coated um, glides. These are just standard glides you can buy at Home Center, uh, order online. Uh, they're readily available, they're inexpensive, and they're very, very durable. Um, they come in two, two parts. One gets attached to the drawer, one gets attached to the case. First thing first is I'm going to attach the drawer slides to the drawer, and then we're going to go over to the case. These are in rights and left, so you've got to keep track of that. Wheels go at the back, and you're going to line up the front flush. And these have connections on the top, or on the bottom rather, and then on the sides. I like to do both, a uh, couple screws on each side. Line it up with the front edge. And I'm just going to put a couple screws in the side. Okay, so I've got the drawer slides on this drawer box. I've already done the other one. So let's head on over to the case and we'll put these in place. I've got these brackets that go on the back of the drawer slide. They mount back here on this back rail on the carcass and simply just slide them back over the drawer slides. The front of the drawer slide gets screwed to the face frame, flush at the front and resting on the lower rail. Use a level to help position the back bracket. Once both slides are in, push the drawer in place and check that the front is flush with the face frame. This one's not, so I need to adjust the bracket at the back. The screw holes are slotted so you can make these type of adjustments. Once the slide is properly adjusted, tighten up the screws. We've got our drawer boxes installed, and now we're going to add our drawer fronts. Uh, we remember these were assembled the same way as our, our doors. They got uh, rails and styles with a panel in the center. And how I'm going to attach this to the front is I'm simply going to use a piece of double face tape as a temporary attachment. Got a little spacer that I'm going to lay right on top of my door. It's half inch. This gives me the three quarter inch overlay I need for my drawer face, just like on my door. And then I'm going to line it up on the edge with my ruler. And you're simply going to come reach inside here and just kind of press those two together. Nice, snug fit there. All right, we can take our spacer out. I'm going to remove my drawer carefully holding on to that so we don't break that part. I'm going to head over here to the bench. Now we're going to drill, pre-drill for screws in both corners so I can attach those two together permanently. There we go. Okay, we're just going to repeat the same process for the other side, and then we'll have the doors and drawers done on our base cabinet.